What's up weirdo, Shade Tree Surgeon here, and I am finally making a video on the new, supposedly 2020 Triumph Rocket 3. If you weren't aware that there was going to be a new Rocket 3, well, now you are. Triumph is releasing one supposedly in 2020, and what's playing behind me are the leaked spy shots of the new bike. I don't know why, but initially I didn't even want to make a video about the new Rocket 3, and I guess that's probably because everyone just expected one from me. If you're already familiar with this channel, the Shade Tree Surgeon channel, you'll know that my videos regularly feature my personal motorcycle, a 2006 Triumph Rocket 3. And I know everyone's going to be like, this hopped up redneck can't fit his head through the door anymore, and it's just going to sound like I'm bragging, but here on YouTube at least, the name Shade Tree Surgeon is practically synonymous with Triumph Rocket 3. Trust me, that ain't my ego speaking. It's just plain numbers. I've got tens of millions of views over hundreds of different videos featuring the Triumph Rocket 3. Obviously, I've got no way to prove this, but I'd be willing to bet that anybody anywhere in the world who has ever typed Triumph Rocket 3 in the YouTube search bar has seen at least one of my videos. So when a brand a brand new redesigned Triumph Rocket 3 comes out, of course I have to make a video about it. And that's exactly why I didn't want to make one. And that's because anytime everyone expects me to make a certain type of video when they think you have to make this video, eh. That's the kind of shit that makes me dig my heels in and say, no thanks, Chief. I make YouTube videos for fun, man, not because I have to. But talking about motorcycles is what I like to do here, and I've certainly got opinions about the new Rocket 3, so I decided it was time to just get the fuck over myself, set my ego aside, and make a video on this motorcycle. So I'd actually been aware that the Rocket 3 was getting a redesign for a few years now, even though I'm pretty sure that old Shade Tree is persona non grata with the top brass over at Triumph, I do know a few people who work for the company. So I knew this was coming, but I had no idea about any of the specs or what it was going to look like besides the fact that it was going to have a bigger engine. Honestly, I'm impressed with the way it looks. They've really just made the whole package look faster and sportier. When you look at the original Rocket 3, it looks like some sort of alternative future steampunk and mutant locomotive. It just revels in how absolutely massive it is. When you look at the original, it almost seems like no consideration for aerodynamics or weight was made on purpose. The thing is fast despite itself. The original Rocket 3, that thing could be going 190 miles an hour and it still wouldn't look fast. The new Rocket 3, that thing looks fast standing still. It's got a tiny front fender, it's short and stubby in the rear, single-sided swing arm, the headlights seem much lower to the fender and everything's just sort of tucked into the bike. I'm positive that this is still going to be physically an absolutely massive motorcycle, but it just, it looks so much smaller. It looks so much sportier in a good way, I think. One thing I was sad to see missing, at least from these spy shots, is the bear claw. I just always thought that that was such a cool, unique thing about the Rocket 3, and I was going to be sad to see it go. The exhaust reinforces the whole sporty look of the motorcycle, and to be totally honest with you, looks like it came directly off a of Ducati Diablo, as does the whole rear section of the bike, really. If you're just kind of glancing at the bike for a second from the seat back, it's essentially identical to a Diablo. A fairly unsurprising move when you consider that Ducati was the company to take away world's fastest cruiser crown from Triumph. I ain't mad at it though, there are certainly worse companies to take design cues from than Ducati. And regardless, up front, it's all Triumph, and unmistakably a Rocket 3. I'm also super happy to see big old Brembo brakes and what looks to be fully adjustable suspension. If Harley's putting fully adjustable suspension on their bikes, Triumph, you better be putting it on the rocket as well. I've also heard that it's going to get all the bells and whistles, ABS, TFT dash, GPS, cornering ABS, traction control, just basically everything you'd expect to be on a brand new motorcycle. I've got majorly mixed feelings about all that tech, but I'll open that can of worms later in the video. So I really expected the new rocket to have the same engine as the old rocket, just with a slightly larger 
major displacement. After all, we already know that the current Rocket 3's engine is capable of producing 240 plus horsepower and remaining under stressed. But judging from these pictures, when I look real close at the engine, it does look like it's new. The rumors place it at either 2400 cc's or 2500 cc's, and initially when you kind of look at it from a distance, you go like, that. Eh, that's the same engine as the old Rocket 3, but when you get up close, it's definitely different. Internally, they may share quite a bit for all I know, but take it from somebody who has cleaned the old Rocket 3 engine more times than I can count. These are most assuredly not the same cases. At least up top, when you look at the bottom end, it does seem pretty similar to the old one. Even more rumors say that it's gonna be pushing 180 horsepower and just as much torque, maybe even more. But of course, this is all speculation on my part, fueled by rumors on everybody else's part. So to be totally honest with you, only time will tell what all the actual specs, specs, and figures will actually be. But enough about all that garbage. Let's talk about how the new Rocket 3 makes me feel. And now, Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. It's definitely a mixed bag for me, a veritable roller coaster of emotions. I think it's a great looking motorcycle that pays homage to the original Rocket 3 while also standing out on its own. It looks like a Rocket 3 from the future. Because it is! With all the requisite whiz -bang gadgets and nanny computers fixing all your mistakes as a rider that you'd expect a future bike to have. I'm sure the new Rocket 3 is going to be an absolute joy to ride around. It's going to be super comfortable. It's going to handle like a dream. It's going to stop on a dime, just like any high-tech modern motorcycle should. And all of that, that's where I start to have mixed feelings about the new Rocket. You see, the old Rocket is just a motorcycle. It's almost a throwback. There's no throttle by wire or touch screen interface on the old Rocket 3. It's got analog gauges. There's no traction control. There's no GPS. There's no ABS. It's just two wheels and a big ass motor. When it comes to handling on the original Rocket 3, you don't so much turn as you change course. And braking is sometimes more of a suggestion than a command. It's noisy enough to make you go deaf. It vibrates enough to rattle your teeth out of your head, it's uncomfortable to ride around, and the engine gets so hot that it will literally light your jeans on fire. I've got the holes to prove it. The original Rocket 3 is a downright dangerous motorcycle, and there's no reason that it should have ever been built. But they did build it, and despite everything else, when you twist the throttle wide open on the original Rocket 3, it feels like you're ripping the world in half. This bike is fast! On that bike, under full acceleration, you're performing without a net. On a Rocket 3 at wide open throttle, your life is in immediate danger. And sure, there are plenty of bikes that are much faster, but few of them feel quite so perilous as the Rocket 3 in full blue. In this day and age of self-driving cars, airbag vests, and cornering ABS, the original Rocket 3 stood as an antithesis to modern motorcycles. A love song dedicated to the reason why we started riding motorcycles in the first place, because they're loud, they're fast, and they're dangerous. I am sure that the new Rocket 3 will be vastly superior in every way, shape, and form to the old Rocket 3. I just hope that they leave it just a little raw a little uncertain. I hope that the new rocket isn't so homogenized that you lose that, that fight or flight instinct that kicks in usually around 4,000 RPM on the old rocket. This thing just feels barely restrained. <laughs> I'm in danger. I hope that this new bike is still dangerous, because to be totally honest with you, that's what I love about the Rocket 3. But honestly, where I'm concerned anyway, this is all really just a hypothetical exercise because what comes along with modern amenities is modern price tags. I'm sure that the new Rocket 3 is gonna be pushing 20 grand, and that is astronomically out of my price range. I paid $5,700 for my Rocket 3 when it was three years old and had less 
than 5,000 miles on it. Something tells me that ain't gonna be happening with a new one. Uh, so unless Triumph wants to give old Shade Tree Surgeon a brand new rocket out of the kindness of their hearts, I really doubt that you'll ever see me on one. And that's another reason that the new Rocket 3, it's just all kind of bittersweet for me. Sure, it's incredibly exciting and I'm super happy that Triumph is still committed to putting absolutely ridiculously monster-sized engines in between two wheels, but I can't afford one, so what does it matter to me? And on top of all that, it is the death knell of this high-powered mutant dinosaur of a motorcycle that was was the old Rocket 3. They don't make them like that anymore, and they probably never will again. So yeah, it's a mixed bag for me. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like on it for me, share it, and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. And please leave a comment telling me what you think about the new Rocket 3. I may not respond to every comment, but I read every single comment that gets left on every single video that I make. And if you want your opinions to get read by somebody in the industry, I have it on good faith that a lot of industry people watch these videos. So you'd be surprised who might actually be reading what you said. So let me know what you think. Let Triumph know what you think. And let me know if you plan on getting a new Rocket 3. Until next time, y'all, keep it weird.